bet anywhere with TVG. After a series of 100-point races taking place all over the country, we now have a clearer picture as to who will be a major contender in the Kentucky Oaks. At Aqueduct, Miss Sky Warrior continued her impressive winning streak with another front-running score in the Gazelle. An absolute runaway here for Miss Sky Warrior. Paco Lopez never asked her to run in the Gazelle. Her 13-length victory was the largest to date. The consistency that this daughter of First Samurai has shown proves that she should be one of the favorites in the Kentucky Oaks. She currently sits second on the leaderboard with 160 points. At Keeneland, Sailor's Valentine burst onto the scene with a shocking win in the Central Bank Ashland Stakes. Deep stretch of the Central Bank Ashland, Sailor's Valentine, Daddy's old darling, Sailor's Valentine. When they broke from the gate, Sailor's Valentine went off as the second longest shot on the board. She had previously lost her four races prior to the Ashland, but her lone victory outside of the Ashland came at this very track last year when she broke her maiden on October 8th. Her win guarantees her a spot in the Kentucky Oaks starting gate. At Santa Anita, everyone thought that the Santa Anita Oaks was a two-horse race between Abel Tasman and It Is Well. Needless to say, Paradise Woods had other plans. But the masterful Mandela has produced Paradise Woods at start number three to a dazzling victory in the Santa Anita Oaks. Her 11 and three quarter length victory broke a 58 year old record held by Silver Spoon, who won by 10 and a half lengths in 1959. Paradise Woods was coming off an easy maiden win. She was overlooked by betters and went off at eight to one when she left the gate in the Santa Anita Oaks. It's clear that Paradise Woods will be a force to be reckoned with on the first Friday in May. And at Oaklawn, Ever So Clever outsmarted her competition in the fantasy. Ever So Clever, Chanel's legacy. Vexatious looks for a way through. Ever So Clever takes the lead. And Ever So Clever wins the fantasy. This 100-point win in the fantasy marked her first career stakes victory. Ever So Clever should be a horse that's on everybody's radar, considering her last two stakes appearances at Churchill Downs yielded second and third place finishes. Stay tuned to TVG for all your up-to-the-minute updates on all the potential runners in the Kentucky Oaks.